So for the last several weeks since ChatGPT blew the whole world up, I've been looking for the best chatbot out there to support my customers and replace the chatbot that I personally built. It's not your normal chatbot. I built it to replace everything that I do, tutorials, customer support, you name it. And good news is, I think I found that bot. I've been playing with it since last night and it's freaking amazing. Let me show it to you. You can test a bot before you ever purchase one. I'm gonna go ahead and show you today, I purchased a license so I'm going to log in and show you how to use this puppy all right so I have three bots set up for my main businesses aficionado is the one for my cannabis related business and it's probably the most fun bot to interact with so far so let's test it so here's what the system looks like you open up your bot and you get a preview of it right here you can change the bot appearance which I've done you have all sorts of neat options other than just the two primary colors. You can change the shape of the message bubble. You can alter the bot header. And of course, I imported my icon, the little stoned smiley. Then I've got trigger icon. And I've got, of course, a little green to match. It automatically did that. I didn't have to set that up. Then we've got where you can set your welcome message. It'll automatically generate one, but you might have to tweak it. And... Later on, you're gonna to get to train this bot. So it kind of starts off rough. So those are the bot settings. What you're gonna do is just start a conversation with it, play around, and when you get to a section of Convo where it answers incorrectly, you have the opportunity to flag that and come back later to train it. So let's see what we can do. So I sell cannabis-related cigar molds for this website. I'm gonna click Explain Your Product to a Five-Year-Old. This is cute. Hello, we make special tools that help grown-ups make big fancy cigars with a plant called cannabis. Our tools are eco-friendly, which means they are kind to the environment. Would you like to see some pictures of our tools? Yes. And then it kind of directs people over to the blog. So... I might modify that and actually include a link, but let's, let's try something else. Let's try to get it to mess up. How do you make a canagar? And when I was training this, it's pulling all of this from my website, and I'll show you that in a minute. I didn't really have to do much training other than correcting mistakes. To make a canagar, you first need to select your cannabis flower and prepare it by removing any stems or seeds. It was very thorough. I might have even forgot that fact uh, and just thought immediately, okay, take it for granted. People know to do that, but nope, it's pretty thorough. Once the mold is packed, you wrap it tightly with cannabis leaves and let it dry for a few hours or overnight. After it's dried, you remove the mold and your canagar is ready to smoke. Pretty good, but I might modify that. I might want to go back and train it. So I'm going to hit the little flag. And then we have over here on our sidebar, training. It flagged an item for me to audit, and I can edit this response in the way that I want and save it, and then go to train and test. So let's edit that. <coughs> I'm going to say it forgot the skewer element. Then you put a skewer in your molds and keep it centered then pack the prepared cannabis and the rest will just be the same so i'm going to save that then i hit train and test and it goes back to learning about my company and let's go back to the conversation and i'm going to ask it the same question and see what happens it's probably just going to respond with exactly what i typed but later on it will reference that so let's go ahead and open up the bot Sorry, I'm still kind of getting used to this interface. So, how do you make a canagar? Oops, I misspelled it, but it won't matter. It's intelligent enough to know, I hope. So it gives it a little bit of a difference. Insert a skewer, see? Do the skewer. And so, oh my gosh. So this is just impressing me every time I use it because it doesn't always... It, it, it's human-like, you know, just like GPT. It's not giving a very generic copy-paste response. 
So now let me show you where the bulk of this training happened because it wasn't necessarily me training it. It's been pretty spot on. When I go over here into my aficionado main settings, oh yeah, there's the test the bot button. Duh. So we have bot knowledge, and this is the basic setup. When you go to create your bot the first time, you populate this info. You give it your website, you give it you know, the best summary that you can, which I just pulled from my about section and kind of modified. And then I also told it my blog is a useful source of info and I pointed to my blog. And then I inserted my entire frequently asked questions section and voila, I've basically got the perfect bot. And over time I can monitor conversations and train it and it will only become better. This is definitely exactly what I was looking for. Oh, by the way, and with this one, it's $19 a month and you can make as many bots as you want. You have a limited number of intelligent responses, but then you can top that up. You have a top up button. So you don't necessarily have to pay for multiple seats. When you run out, if you're doing that much business, you'll probably be just fine with topping up. You know what I mean? It's not that expensive to buy more. Also, uh, you might have noticed, and let's go back to their main site, Oramon, Omeron, Yuminamanamanomanamon. So at the main website, You'll notice they have an affiliate link too. So for the affiliate marketers out there, you can sign up and be an affiliate and just like me, share your links. If you liked my video and you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, onward and upward.